good morning my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome today into the word 30th of May 2024. Today's gospel is from the gospel of Mark chapter 10 verses 46 to 52. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, it's a great joy in revealing to what today's gospel text will reveal to us. It's about a blind man. A blind man whom have not seen Jesus, he is just stranded in one place, which means because of his blindness, his movement is limited. But when uh, Jesus went into the town, when this blind man heard that Jesus is in town, he was shouting, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. But people all rebuked him and said, be quiet, be quiet. But the more he shouted, Son of David, have mercy on me. Hearing this, Jesus stopped and said, Call him. When the blind man heard this, he was so cheered up, he threw off his cloak aside, he jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. Then Jesus, what do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. Rabbi, I want to see. Jesus said, Go, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. My dear brothers and sisters, very briefly and very shortly, the only thing he knew about Jesus, he had no encounter, he had no experience, uh, seeing all he had was he had heard, heard through the people, through the people talking to him, telling about the wonderful things as all was been done by this man called Jesus, so, so, and so, and so, and so. During the time of Jesus, they did not know that this was the Son of God or did not know it was God. Only through His death, through the passion, death and resurrection, many came to know that truly, indeed, this is the Son of God. But the apostles came to know that this is truly God when he saw, when all the disciples witnessed the ascension of our Lord into heaven. That this man is not just a man, but divine and he is God. In today's gospel, he's talking about the faith of this blind man. How strong was his faith? Just by listening to people, he knew Jesus. For the many wondrous things that Jesus had been doing through his preaching, through his teaching, throughout all the town areas, people would have talked about Jesus, such so and so. This blind man, only by hearing, his faith was so strong that he had believed in God that this man can cure him, can give him sight. Similarly, when he came to town, this blind man, all he wanted was to see. Bye-bye. I want to see. And Jesus simply said, Go, your faith has sealed you. Today, today, we know, in our present time, we know that this Jesus who came down from heaven, the only begotten Son, is God indeedly. Blind man did not know that there was God only through hearing or testimony given by people to him through the testimony given, he understood that Jesus was God or a, a very special man. But us, throughout the years after his death, after his passion, death, resurrection, and most important of all, the ascension witnessed by the apostles because the apostles is the one who went on proclaiming the good news to the whole world. And we all know today that that was Son of God and truly is God and his, his name is Jesus. Today, do I listen to the words of God, especially during in the Mass, the Gospels? Do I listen to what the priest is preaching? Because the blind man, 
only heard or witnessed, confessed by the people who saw Jesus and what he was teaching, what he was doing. Just by listening, his faith was so strong on Jesus. How strong is my faith? How strong is my faith towards Jesus? Very simple. Do I read the word of God? Do I read the scripture? Despite knowing that Jesus was truly the son of God. Do I listen to the word, uh, the God, readings in the gospels and the psalm that has been proclaimed during the mass? And most important of all, how the people then was giving testimony about Jesus to the people living there. Today our priest, through the sermon, is revealing much about Jesus to us. What is his message? Messages are for us. Do I listen? And the beautiful thing that he asked was, I want to see Rabbi. Rabbi, I want to see. And go. Your faith has healed you. Today we pray, we attend Mass and so and so and so. We do a lot of things, penance, fasting, prayer. But yet, why is it that some of them are still struggling? I believe it is the belief of the faith. How deep is my faith? Do I truly believe that He is the Son of God and He is God that He can give me sight, can give me heal, He can heal me. The physical healing, the psychological healing, the emotional, every aspect of healing. He is the greatest healer of all healers in this world. How strong is my faith? Let's compare my faith to the faith of the blind man. Meditate, reflect on that. Him just by listening to what the testimony given by people. He believed in Jesus. Today, do I confess? Do I give testimony for the many wonders that God has done to me? Do I talk about it to people? There are many things that happen in our lives. But do I share that with other people? Do I share that with other people? Which will move us. And what single word? Your faith has sealed you. Your faith has sealed you. Just by believing Jesus, just by believing in Him, we are healed. So, how deep I believe in Him? How strong is my faith? That will heal us. Prior to this gospel, if we go a little bit higher, if you see on chapter Mark chapter 10, verse 24, the story about the eye of the uh, needle, it says, in that particular, it says, uh, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. Yes. What does it mean by that? Is it like when we put take the needle, okay, we take the needle. If the needle is very far and I see through the, uh, the eye of the needle, there's nothing much I can see, correct? There's nothing much I can I can see everything else, but the small tiny things I'm not able to see. But if I were to bring the needle close into my eye and seeing through the needle, I can see the impossible possible. Which means to the pin of the, the eye of the needle, I can see the camel in through the needle. You try it, you just take and see. Impossible is possible. Oh, I, how I, I am relating this to that, uh, today's uh, gospel and this particular text of the gospel, uh, Matthew, Mark 10 24, is that that needle is Christ. The eye is our faith. The belief I have in Him. The further I bring the needle away from me, I'm bringing Jesus away from me, which is the impossible. It's impossible. But if I were to bring the needle, which I say, that Jesus, bringing close to me and able to see, uh, see things through Jesus, everything is possible. That is what I meant, to, I, I think it meant to say even the camel can go through the eye of the needle is how I see things. 
If Jesus is away from me, my faith is shallow and impossible. By bringing it close, by bringing it close, it is very much uh, closer. Everything is possible. So let's reflect and meditate upon on this and uh, reflect on this. Thank you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ.